Okay, Dudicles, part two, Nut and Fancies, everyday carry system under the rule of law. Um, you're looking at it. We talked about the weaponry options. I briefly went over the car PM9. By the way, PM40 would be just as good of a choice. Actually, a Caltech PF9. Any compact, full-size caliber gun, in my opinion, would be good. As long as it's comfortable to you and it works for you and you don't leave it at home, you've made a good choice. Uh, for me, it's the, P, the PM9 with two extra magazines, one in the, the gun, of course. Then I talked about my Almar Eagle choice. That's my defensive knife. It's a four-inch, super lightweight blade, adequately fast, non-steel lined, very slim. My Stylus Streamlight Pro, my Leatherman S2 Juice, my Lacrosse Tweezers, the flat variety for uh, kind of first aid use more than anything. Also, utility tasks. Now, also, I want a pen with me. I always take a pen wherever I go, and man, it just comes in handy. So I'm going to throw that in the mix. Here comes something you may not expect, a whistle. That's right. By the way, subscribers, stay tuned. You're going to see Nothing Fancy coming out with some survival kit videos, both the urban variety and wilderness variety. And I'm going to show you what I think comprises smart survival kits. And I'll make videos to that, especially you city dwellers. You'll be interested to see what I have to say about that. Um, but I think everybody should pretty much all the time have a whistle on your person. If you are trapped in a building structure, something collapses, an earthquake, and people are searching for you, if you fall into the water somehow and you're cold, don't expect your voice to hold out like I said in my backpacking review video. Um, you need a whistle. And you can get a flat one like this. This is an Orion brand, kind of worn because I've been carrying it. And it's, you know, there's all kinds of different whistles, but have a whistle. And I've tied on a reflective hank of Keltec tent cord on there so I can find it with a flashlight. Also, for safety reasons, it's good to have. Uh, let me say defensive reasons. If you're in a, you somehow find yourself in a bad neighborhood. Um, guess what? I do not want to have to use this right here. I don't want to pull my gun out. I don't want to pull my knife out. Those are last ditch. I have no alternative other than my lethal weaponry to defend myself. I'd much prefer to use my whistle. I'm not even kidding you. To scare the dude away, maybe draw attention to the situation, diffuse it. Depends on the situation. But the whistle is an all-purpose signaling device and it just serves a lot of different purposes. You should, you'd be very wise to carry one. So yes, in the nut and fancy system, a whistle is an important piece of equipment. Don't under don't discount this. Some guys be watching like, oh whistle, that's gay. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. This is what you want. Um, your voice cannot carry that far. Okay, so I'm gonna throw in a whistle. How about a cell phone? Yeah, I like my cell phone. And by the way, I dig smaller cell phones. I'm not a big fan of the wide platform, blue Blackberries, and even the uh, iPhone is large. I like small and compact. Again, going along with the mobility um, system I'm talking about, and this is the one I've used. I could have upgraded a long time ago to a different system. I've stuck with that one because it is indeed more portable. So, I'm, I'm kind of amassing a lot of gear here, don't you think? How am I going to carry all this? Uh, we'll talk about that in a second here. Let me raise the tripod up. Uh, let's go into a little bit of, uh, well, practicality. There's my wallet. I need to carry my wallet. And yeah, it's a, like a Kelty uh, nylon wallet is my choice. I like those. Uh, change purse. Yeah, I use one of those. So my change isn't flopping all over the place different varieties, but that's just the one I got uh, overseas in Turkey. It's cool leather. Um, now let's get into hygiene. Uh, yeah, a couple of hygiene items. I want a comb with me. It's helpful. Yeah, even this. Remember I told you I didn't have a nail file? Well, guess what? I'll bring one. Again, another inexpensive one I bought at Walmart. Lacrosse style, and it has a little sheath you put on it. Why is that important? Because this is abrasive. If you put it in here against your S2 juice, guess what? You're going to score your multi-tool huge. It's going to be scratched up like crazy. So, yeah, you want something that you can put that on. But it's help, helpful to have. Another thing I have is Neosporin. I take that with me everywhere. Why do I have duct tape on it? Because I've found that carrying it, the way I'm going to show you I carry it, the tube will crack. And it's going to, like, juice all over the place and just squeeze and make a mess. 
So I use that Gorilla duct tape and I tape the tube like I show you here. And guess what? It'll carry until it's empty without breaking. Lesson learned. Glide uh, dental floss. Yeah, I like having that. Chapstick. So that's it. That's what I like to have with me every day under the rule of law. How am I going to carry all that? That's a lot of gear. Um, however, it's also a lot of capability, comparatively speaking. Now, your system may be even more thorough than that. Um, let me tell you some, when I address how to carry it, um, what you want to be able to do in order to subscribe to, hey, I'm going to carry all the time, and I want this stuff on me all the time, you better simplify your system. What I mean by that is, if you think that you're going to carry all this gear and you're going to shove it into your pocket before you, you leave the house, you're going to be suiting up for like 10 minutes, jamming stuff in the pockets, situating it, clipping your knives, you know, putting your chapstick in, finding a place for this, where's the phone going, and more often than not, and I'm speaking from experience, you'll go out of the house, you'll go, oh crap, I forgot something. Maybe you forgot your multi-tool. Don't have it. So... When I go with an EDC system, I want something that's turnkey. Baby, I just clip it on. I'm ready to go. Now, I have investigated carrying my gun in a fanny pack, and I've done that before. Remember, I've been carrying guns concealed, legally, licensed, for a long time. Long time. Since 1992. So, I've tried a lot of different things, and I want to tell you what works for me. And that's not to say that sometimes I won't go with a fanny pack carry gun, but let me show you. Well, it's working for me now. Let's take the gun out of the equation for a second because that needs its own carry system since it's larger and bulkier. For all of this, where'd it go? Prepare to laugh <laughs> if you don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to opt for a fanny pack. There's a lot to be said for a fanny pack. Yeah, I know it's malaligned. Oh, dorks wear fanny packs. Well, not really. If you get the right fanny pack, like this Mountain Smith Vibe 2, you see it has a fair amount of wear on it, it gives you the kind of system you need to carry. The fanny packs I do not care for are the real poofy kind that are, let's see, I had one around here somewhere, that are, are poofy and they don't, they stick out. Kind of like this one, this Jansport. That's a bright red too. You know, it's just kind of poofy. These are kind of the Floridian, touristy, you know, you see fat tourists wearing these kinds. Yeah, these are kind of dorky. Uh, would it serve the purpose? Yeah. But choose wisely when you go with a fanny pack like this Vibe, and look how trim that is. I mean, it sucks everything in. Really good zippers on it. Great compartments. Ventilated back pad made out of ca uh, material like Cambrel. Nice, high, super high quality nylon, just like everything Mountain Smith makes. It's just superb, um, tough, and guess what? It's small. This is a small fanny pack. This is not a, you know, big old Florida tourist fanny pack. In fact, it's so small, if you leave your shirt untucked, most people will not even know you have this on. So, let's see how it fits this EDC system I have. Okay, two pockets in the vibe. This is... And the, you know, the, the models may change in the future. This is where I have my, my pin will go here. Now, what else do I have there? My comb will go there. Chapstick goes there. That's kind of my hygiene pocket with my dental floss. I know, that's just stuff I like to have. Now in here... Oh, what do you know? The Vive has an interior pocket right here. Hmm, that's a good place to put my tools. Here goes the S2 juice. Nail file. Yes, the whistle. Stylus Streamlight. Lacrosse, uh, or my tweezer, doesn't matter the brand. And yeah, generally I'm going to have my Almar Eagle here too. That doesn't mean my Almar Eagle is always riding in there. It comes out and gets clipped to my pocket if and when I think I need it. Now, you guys say, well, you don't have it ready if you really need it. Well, at least you have it as opposed to leaving the house and you forgot it. Remember, we want it on our person. So I can easily take it out and say, oh, you know what? I think I'd feel better with my eagle clipped to my pocket. And I've done that a lot. And I clip it to my pocket. Now, keep in mind, all this stuff I'm carrying, 
it's up to you to obey your own rules and regulations and laws that you have in your town. That's not my job. And everything I carry is legal where I live. Uh, here's my wallet in the main compartment. Change will go here. Now this is why I use a change purse. Here's the alternative. If I don't, okay, that's the alternative. If you don't consolidate your change and it's all over the place, and and then have a good time trying to find it when you need it. So have something that consolidates it. Sounds stupid, but trust me, it works. There's my Eosporin. Bam. Zip it. Look how thin that is. I sewed that on there because in a certain system, when I work at my job, I like clip it. I don't wear it. I clip it to a piece of luggage I have. And that's why I sewed that 550 cord on this Mountain Smith 5. How about the phone? Do I put the phone inside? No. This is why I use this carrier. This is a Timbuktu cell phone carrier. There's your name brand right there if you want to look it up. Timbuktu cell phone. It has a quick, I have a total stain from a pin that leaked on it. And it clips right here. Here again we see the versatility of the fanny pack option. Bam! There you go. So there's my tools, my knife, everything's in there. And let's see how much it weighs in total. Weight's critical. If it's heavy, you start leaving it. One pound, 14.6 ounces for all of that. What about the gun? Hmm, haven't talked about that as far as carrying yet. Well, again, I'm already using the fanny pack option for my utility and other things like that, right? Well, the way I'm carrying the gun these days, pretty much a lot is belly band. That's right. Belly band is another problem solver. Let me tell you the ups and downs of the belly band. And you guys say, well, where do you get those? Well, this is, it's this belly band right here. This is a golden Goodrich belly band. Good luck finding them. But here's the information. You can see it right here. Uh, it's called the Bodyguard. Relatively good price, too, $26.50. And I ordered it online. Forget where. Look for it. There's not a lot of belly bands out there, but they are out there. The belly band option is is very comfortable. It's very concealable. Easy to don, and if you have the right gun, like the CAR PM9, PM40, maybe a super light gun of some sort, it's very you'll forget you have the gun on. And that's when you know you have a carry system that works. You forget you have the gun on. By the way, my choice of rounds for the CAR PM9, 115 grain jacketed hollow point blazer aluminum case standard pressure. They'll get the job done, trust me, especially when I connect with them, and I will connect with them. I'll go central nervous system and headshots if I have to. I can guarantee you I will. So it's an adequate load. Plus P plus be better, but it's more blast, more recoil. Standard pressure, 115 grain. Jacket at hollow point, nice big opening right there. They'll get the job done. They have in years past. Lots of good statistics on that round, actually. Yeah, are there better rounds? Sure they are, but all pistol rounds are underpowered. Anyways, back to the belly band. There it is, loaded up. Now let me tell you something. This belly band, this bodyguard, did not come with these retention straps. Everything you see in white, I added and I made myself. You want definitely to have a weight support system on your belly band. Otherwise, it's going to jostle down and how you doing go around your belly. Also, I don't ride it around my belly. I ride it pretty much around my chest area. And so the gun is under my offside underarm. Not like in the armpit, but you get the kind of against the bicep. And kind of like a, it would be in a vertical ride, you know, holster or, you know, shoulder holster. That's where I ride this. Um, this is a retention strap I sewed. I got the, you know, the snaps there at REI. You definitely want to have a snap on this because if you don't, and as it comes, it will. De you start jogging and running. This gun's going to go bye bye. Out it'll pop. Not smart. So I just got some, I don't know, one inch wide Velcro and fashioned myself the snap. Snow. Uh, I'm sorry, the retention strap. Sewed it accordingly. Then same with the shoulder strap. This goes over the gun side at your shoulder and it supports the weight so it stays in position. Pretty simple modification. It did come with the suede back pad, which is very important to have. It makes carrying this gun against your your t-shirt or your skin. I recommend carrying a t-shirt or wearing a t-shirt definitely, so you don't sweat your gun up. But it makes it comfortable. 
um, that suede pad does. And that shoulder strap is very important. And then it's got, that's your attachment here. This particular model of belly band attaches in the back. And then along with that, I added some Velcro right here because I don't want this whole pad attaching. I have found that it's, um, this is a huge Velcro pad and what happens is it's really hard to attach and unattach. And so right now I just, I kind of negated this hook portion right here by putting this on. I could easily take it off, then I could attach it that way. But it's just something I've learned. So, and the width on it, I wouldn't be too super concerned about how wide your belly band is. This one's adequate. I like it. Uh, I don't know, what is it, four or five inches? Let me get my ruler out here. That's probably wider than that. Sorry for the bump. Yeah, it's four inch elastic. Get the highest quality elastic you can find. Belly band. Disadvantages would be it's not a fast draw. I know that. It's under the shirt carry to access your weapon. You're going to have to practice. It's not a fast draw. Also, you are somewhat prone to fumbling the gun because as you come in under your shirt, the only thing you're going to get a grasp of is the end of the butt. you got to pop your retention strap off. That's something you need to practice. Also, reholstering the weapon is pretty much N.A. You can't do it. It's hard to do without two hands. Uh, same goes for the mags. But guess what? It's comfortable. It's very concealable. Most people will never know you have it on you. And it is adequately fast if you practice with it. Belly band carry, it's my number one choice for a subcompact style pistol. Um, and most people I talk to that have gone to belly band will not go back to any other type of carry. Whether it's fanny pack, whether it's pancake. And that's assuming they have a proper belly band set up like I've shown you. If you don't put this on or if you don't put the retention strap on, then some people will complain about it. Saying, well, my gun fell out. You know, Well, that's because you didn't put a retention strap on it. Well, it rides down. Well, you know, put this 20 cent Velcro strap over it. And all this is is just Velcro, the loop side. Okay, if you do that, you will, uh, it's a lot easier for you to go outside the house being armed. Have it on your person 24 7. Get a system that's comfortable and that works. Coupled with this system, the fanny pack, I pretty much, under the rule of law, have all my bases covered. And I found that to be the case after probably over a decade of using this system. That's nothing fancy. It's EDC system. It's a car PM9. You saw the tools and the other things. Hope you like it. Subject to change, but you know what? I haven't changed it for a long time just because it works. Now, like I said, situation changes. WROL happens. Things will change. My system will change. And it will be much more tactical and much more capable and heavier but it'll be good weight. Thanks for tuning in. Hope that's uh, helped you guys out. We'll see you soon. Nothing fancy. Signing off. Bye-bye.